seems like there's a real shortage of like female-led shows on television with the exception of like Desperate Housewives. What do you think is the benefit for you guys for having just a female main co-star? <laughs> well, I mean, if anything, I think what this show does is it, you know, it, remember they did that study a while ago and it was like 95% of kindergartners said they wanted to be famous. <laughs> it was so alarming. It was just like, what, really? But they didn't, the thing that was alarming was that, A, the subject matter, but then they didn't say how. Like if you want to be a famous director or if you want to be an actor or if you want to be a news anchor or something like that, that's fine. The, the fact was that they just wanted to be famous. And I think what this does, it's going to sort of put back in the mainstream. You know, look, women can, we can do anything you put your mind to. And that's, you know, that's what I teach my daughters. You know, if you want to be a veterinarian, be the best veterinarian. It, it, go ahead and do that. You know, I obviously, I mean, I'm not going to want my kids to be homicide detectives because I don't want anybody shooting at my children. There's that. But outside of that, you know, I want them to know that, yeah, I mean, you can, you can do anything you put your mind to. And it doesn't have to be, you know, something that... You know, fame, it has its downsides, too. So, you know, as every job does, I mean, it has its ups and downs. I mean, I don't know, that's, that's kind of how I look at it. I look at, I try to look at the positive of it. It's putting back out there, you know, yeah, be a homicide detective, be an M.E., be, you know, all and, that. You know, the other thing is, as well, I mean, it's unusual to work on a series that was written, the books were written by a woman, mm, it was created yeah. by a woman, and you have two very strong female characters, you know, leads on the show. And it's, for me, it's different because I feel like, and that's not to say that I don't think there's fabulous writers that write women different ways, but these two women can be all things. We can be silly and, you know, vulnerable and sexy and strong and angry. You know, I have, I've worked on a lot of stuff where I was told, don't be too angry, don't get to this, don't get to that. We're not given that, like we're both a lot and, and these are two different women with different points of view and different backgrounds who can express that, uh, all those sides of themselves. Like we have scenes where we're really silly like really, so I got I got peed on the other day by a dog. <laughs> I, I got peed on. We had a, we were we were you know hanging out and we had a dog in the scene and you know I got peed on. Like we have really not on purpose. <laughs> it was amazing. He could just take that key. Right? Yeah. Back and and pee. pee. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, but I mean we laugh a lot. We have like we have a fun time. You know, it's not like it's just these straight women that you know. Also, the other thing that's great is that I think that Jane and Maura are not competitive with each other. You right. know, they respect what each other does. I think Jane gets very frustrated with Maura <laughs> because you know it's it, she's. You know, she wants answers, and Mara's not willing to settle, you know, give in. To, to call the reddish-brown stained blood. Right. <laughs> blood. Right. Exactly. So there's that. But I think that, in general, they're, they're still, they're strong women that are not, they're not, like, fighting over a boy, or they're not, there's not that stuff. There's, no. like, It's not catty stuff. and bitchy. It's not that. Mm -hmm. you no. Know, supportive, definitely. In the yeah. Program. Well, they have yeah. to. I mean, they're the only two women in the entire unit. So, you know, and, and in real life, the, you know, a certain detective will have a certain Emmy that he always works with. And they help each other, and that's how they solve cases and things like that. And, you know, these two recognize, all right, look, you know, we're in this together. There's only two of us here. And, you know, we can actually do a lot more if we work together as opposed to working apart. Are we going to get some more insight into the background of the friendship? Because it'd be kind of, I think, fun to see maybe a flashback as to when these two first met. Can I answer this one? Can we wear 80s clothing? <laughs> hey, if you guys have been friends in the can 80s, please the let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do a make believe because they didn't. And I'll put my mole back on. Right. Sorry, I had to say it. Sorry, I had to do it. Come on, it's great. It's awesome that she can make fun of herself like that. It's fantastic. True. Totally right. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. And her hair. Fantastic. Oh, yes. yes. I'm going to do a claw. Hair. It's going to be like this. I'm going to look like Bon Jovi. Nice. Like Steve Vai. Okay, sorry, go ahead. We, um, the thing I'll say is this, that what, it's just, it's just a, it's a personal, because I really like this about the show. I feel that a lot of times with girls, they make you want to love them both right away, like they were best friends since they were young, or they're sisters, or they're whatever it is. We don't have that. These two women met at work, I think. Mm -hmm. They met at work, mm -hmm. they met through work, and they're in, the, in a point in their relationship where like, they're learning a lot about each other. And that's what's kind of interesting to me. You're not like we're not forcing the audience or anybody to say you gotta love these two women because this is what's going on. You are you are experiencing it as we are. There's a lot of things where like that happen, even in episode we're shooting now, where Jane finds some stuff out about Mora that qu make her question her Mora's loyalty to her, just strictly mm -hmm. from her background. And so a lot of that stuff is interesting because we are learning it as well about the friendship as we're shooting it. 
And I, I personally like that. I find that unpredictable. I find it, it's not forcing you to have to love something. Mm -hmm. It's organic. And that's what, to me, the relationship works because you, you're not, you know, it, you're, you're discovering it and you're figuring, you're getting to, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. make that natural, you know, step into it. In 80s clothing. <laughs> but I would love an 80s flashback. <laughs>